Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name it kinetic type 23. I will make it 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and press OK. Cool. Now let's select the type tool and write something. I'm going to write boring and center align it in the composition. And now with our text selected, right click and choose pre-compose. Then let's give it a name to our new pre-comp and select open new composition. Now using the region of interest tool, let's make a selection around the text. With that done, let's go to composition and select crop comp to region of interest. Nice. Now, let's go back to the main composition and with our type precomp selected, let's repeat the same precompose step. No, I'm not crazy, trust me. Now, let's go inside of our precomp inception situation and we go to the top menu and select composition and let's go to composition settings. And on a composition height, let's increase it up to 2000 pixels. Make it a very tall composition and press OK. Now, let's select boring precomp one and let's go to Effects, Stylize and, and select Motion Tile. And on Effect Settings, let's increase the output height until we fill our composition with text. Nice. With that done, let's mark a keyframe on a tile center. Move our timeline needle to the last frame and change the tile center Y value. In my case, I'm just going to multiply the current value by 15. Cool, let's give it a little preview. And it's looping perfectly. Now use the region of interest tool to crop around the text again. So we don't end up with big margins around our text. Perfect. Let's go back to our main composition. And let's scale down the text precomp until we can see the text fully. Nice. Now let's go back to effects, select distort and select CC Bender. Before we change any value, let's change the style from Bend to Marilyn. Click on a checkbox to adjust the distance and with that done, now let's increase the amount value to 60. Perfect. Now let's just adjust the top and the base of the effect. And let's select our effect and press Command or Ctrl D to duplicate it. And adjust the buzz in the top again creating this very cool wavy visual. Nice. Now duplicate the pre-comp and change the effect values to negative on the bottom layer. So instead of 60, it will be minus 60 in both band effects. Cool, this is already looking great, but let's add another effect to make this more legible. With our bottom layer selected, let's go to generate and choose fill. And here, you can leave it red if you fancy, but I'm going to change it to a nice gray color. And that's it, let's give it a little preview and as you can see, the text is moving in the same direction. It's still a nice effect, but I want it to be inverted. It feels better in some way. So let's select the layer, let's right click and go to time and select time reverse layer. Let's give it another preview and yeah, it feels much better. Well, it's ready to render. Let's make it solid for the background. A dark solid will do and yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe to my channel and check my other kinetic type tutorials and if you're in love with this channel and want to get access to this tutorial working file and many others including scripts and design assets please consider becoming a member of my buy me a coffee page you will get all of this and also support me as a creator for only three dollars a month that's less than a coffee nowadays it's a great deal right Anyway, it's all good if you can't. That's it for today. I hope you have a great day, a great life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.